Hello, and welcome to Let's Talk Spoop. I'm your host, Don, and today we're talking about Ghost Project, which I watched on Amazon Prime. As per usual on Let's Talk Spoop, we break things into six separate categories. Those six separate categories are story, acting, music, atmosphere, look, and finally, creep. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into Ghost Project. Story. So the story Ghost Project, it follows three in individuals who work for a place called the Institute, which is some sort of tech company. Um, they're all working on their own things, and Brian, who's one of the main characters, is working on some sort of VR system, and he's usually using it to try to interact with his dead girlfriend. Uh, who died in a car accident, and he was the driver. So he's got a lot, he's carrying around a lot of guilt. The other two are working on other things. Uh, the female lead, whose name I can't remember, maybe Alice. Uh, she, we're going to just call her Alice. So Alice is working on some sort of heart rate monitor thing, and they don't really tell us what Cisco is working on. He's the other main male character, and he's Asian. Um, so the three of these guys, people, are working on this project, and there are several projects, and Brian comes across a machine that releases some sort of frequency that allows one to interact with ghosts. Hence the name, Ghost Project. So they take this machine, combine it with Brian's VR, and now they can see ghosts through a VR headset, which sounds like an absolutely horrible thing to have happen. Overall, story is pretty solid. Um, it's not super original, uh, and the ending kind of goes a little here and there. It's not really clear what entirely is going on at the end, but overall, not bad. So, story, three out of five. Acting. So, normally at this point, I pull up individual pictures of the actors, and I talk about them and how they did and how I felt about it, but there are no pictures of these actors on IMDb. Um, as far as I can tell, this is a like a independent project, so these are all not big actors. So what did I think of the acting? Well, it's all right. There's nothing heinous about it. It's not bad, uh, but there's nothing. There's no standout performances. And on top of that, our three main characters all have different nationalities and therefore different thick accents. Brian is British, Alice, I think, is French, and Cisco is Asian. <clears throat> I don't know which kind of Asian, I'm sorry, uh, but not Filipino, I can tell you that. So it kind of makes it a little hard to understand what's going on, especially for my wife, who English is her third language. So for acting, I give it a 2.5, because it's fairly average. Music, there's nothing really to report here. The music wasn't bad, but it wasn't good. So 2.5 on music. Atmosphere. Uh, I paid attention during the movie, but nothing really grabbed me and made me legitimately care about these actors. So 2.5 for atmosphere. Look, not bad. Clearly low-budget film, but they did the best that they could with these ghosts that were, are somewhat... Computer generated, somewhat people in costume, so 2.5 for look. And then finally, creep. So, is this movie creepy? No. Does it have some good jump scares? Yes. Uh, is it an interesting concept? It's interesting enough. Personally, if they made something that would allow me to see ghosts through VR, I don't know how I'd feel about that. I think it would scare the crap out of me. So for Creep, I gave it a 2.5. And so we do all the math and we get a 2.6 out of 5. Slightly above average for this movie. I have nothing against this movie. I would recommend it. What do you people think? Have you seen it? Think about letting me know in the comments down below. I would love to engage with you. Uh, while you're commenting down there, thinking about subscribing, thinking about sending me a like, you got to feed that algorithm. It's a hungry, hungry beast. Uh, we are trying to reach 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year. We have a little bit over three months to get about 300 more subscribers. 
So if you tell two friends, and then they tell two friends, and then they tell two friends, that's like 300 people right there. So I need you to help me to grow my channel, our channel, collectively. Okay, thanks, bye.